We ain't suicidal, no. matricidal. You what asylum? Matricidal. You mean homicidal? No, matricidal. That's a new one. <laughs> After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I'm Jesse Barber. I've been working here with the Sheriff's Office now in the detention for about 25 years. Hillsborough County Jail is an open booking, no bars type of facility. We were one of the first ones in the country to go with this. We've gotten people from all over the country, all over the world, coming here doing tours of this facility, see how we operate, because they like the way we operate it. You'll get your fights. You're going to get your people coming, especially booking. You're going to be coming in, they're going to be drunk, they're going to be high. It doesn't matter what is around them, what you provide for them, they're just going to have attitude. Car coming in, just ask for assistance. We're gonna go out and check it out, see exactly what he needs. Possibly a combative individual in the back seat of his car. What's the deal with him? Oh, is he spitting? He's got a spit cap on. Can you release these cuffs? Because I'm not trying to resist arrest. So we're gonna talk to you about that. You gonna give us any trouble at all? No, ma'am. I mean, no, sir. Okay, we'll take the leg irons off you and let you walk, but the rest okay. of the cuffs are staying on. So is this little cap to see how you're gonna act. All right. Lord of God, I'm not trying to mess with no one right now. Well, I'm already in much trouble as it is. Well, that is kind of true. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Wait till so we're gonna, we'll play it like you act. All right. She's gonna let go of your legs so you can get out. You right. wanna slide out feet or you wanna slide out this way? The feet first, please. Okay, I'm gonna push you. Hold on, hold on. Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. All right. All right. Can you pull my hair on my face, please? We'll get that, in, we'll get that inside. We'll guide you. What's his charges? Assault on an officer. Assault on an officer? Okay. What's your name? Uh, Michael. Okay, Mike, let's go up here and get these cuffs off you. All right. Huh? Can you pull my pants up, please? I'm going to let you do all that. Just remember, how you act is going to dictate how we treat you. All right. pictures first? Don't worry about the camera. The camera's for me. Because I ain't trying to go through no more trouble. I don't want the camera in my face right now. You're going to do like we tell you to do. Like I said, don't Like I said, don't you worry about that camera. It's here for us, not for you. Exactly. So you leave alone. All right. Like I said, I'm going to cooperate. Okay. I'm going to cooperate. I ain't trying to go through no more trouble. I don't mean making no threats. So you're sitting there making threats. You've already proven we can't trust you. What are you looking for? He's just looking for scrapes and scratches. Well, that's right One tattoo, that's all. From the left shoulder, that's it. All right, let's go. You feel him off until he falls? No, I'm not going to pull nothing up. You could feel him starting to tense up and start to pull away. At that point, we had to gain control again. Look up your mouth. Is this enough? And what was the deal? All I asked is what pull up my deal? pants. And he pushed me in this door? Are you seriously kidding me? No, Shut no up. one's kidding you. I'm not trying to resist the rest. Are you then walk. Your mouth, man. Your mouth is what's getting you in trouble. All right. On the floor. On the floor. On your stomach. OK. Now, as you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate very well. I'm cooperating right after this. So All the action, his action gets our reaction. I ain't got one thing on you. Are you kidding We're not me? trusting you anymore. Yeah, right. Enough yeah. with your mouth, man, enough. All right. Your mouth has already gotten you this much trouble. Yeah. I'll show you enough trouble. Take your mouth off. No, you will. See, there you go again, making threats. All right. Making threats you can't keep. And well, listen to me. We're going to take these cuffs off you. You're going to stay on this floor until we all back out of this holding cell. Okay. And if you act crazy in here hitting on our door, do not move your hand. We will come back in here, and this time it won't be as pleasant. Stay on the floor. All right. Now, as you can see, he just doesn't listen.
So what happened on the street? Just drunk and disorderly at his parents' house and went out as a domestic. But he didn't attack them. But when the corporal got there, he was screaming and hollering at the front door. Came at my corporal. When you attacked your corporal? That's what got him here. Otherwise, he wouldn't even be here. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go there and talk to this gentleman. And we're going to try to take him out of the holding cell and uh, see if he's ready to get the booking process over with. All right, Mike. Like I said, we're going to try to get you out of here and get this done. Just relax. You can relax. Now, you know why we put you in this holding cell? Causing trouble. Causing trouble? No problems now? You're going to be all good? Let's get this done. Here, grab that for me. If you don't mind, we'll throw that in the garbage. That wasn't fun wearing, was it? Yes, sir. Feeling better? Mm -hmm. So what happened to you at home? Mm -hmm. What started all this? My mom and dad. You didn't argue with them because you're drinking or something? Mm -hmm. they, they didn't like that? So who called the police? Step back for a minute. Hmm? Your mom did? You've never done this before? First time? I'm sure they'll give you a break. I think you'll be all right. All right? Mm -hmm. OK. I want you to go ahead and have a seat over here for me, Mike. I'll get your paperwork, and we'll get you finished up. All right. I don't think Mike was really a bad kid. He's a troubled kid. He's probably got an alcohol problem, which is most people come to jail has got an alcohol problem, it seems like. It's what he want to fight on alcohol. You see, Mike will stay sober. He's probably the nicest kid you could ask to me. I think he'll make it. I work for the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department. I've been here for 15 years, and I am one of the intake supervisors. Working here, you never can tell what type of person we're going to get coming in through the doors. Officers don't discriminate, so anyone could be arrested for any small thing. What did he get arrested for? Burglary. Oh. Yeah, he, he broke into an apartment. We caught him still inside the apartment. And glass broken. He had the glass fragments still on his boot. He had the bubble coat that two witnesses saw him wearing, and we also found the property next to where he He's was. giving you a hard time in the vehicle? The entire time down here. This is how he was acting the entire time down here. That's normal behavior for him. <laughs> for him? Yeah, that's normal for him. <laughs> She's eight months pregnant. Okay. Oh. Are you in labor now? I'm just hurting. I don't go in labor. I, I have cesareans, but I'm hurting. So that's Where are you all. hurting now? It, <coughs> well, lower. Yes. Well, she needs to know. You have feeling yes. pressure or pain? Both. Pressure. How'd you come in contact with her? We got dispatched for a theft report. Simple theft. She showed up. She was just getting on a city bus. We stopped the city bus, got her off of it. She had the property on her. Brought her down here. Easy arrest. Yeah. Come on, he's ready for you. Grab your jacket. Come around this way, sweetie. Sergeant, if I scream, come in, OK? No, I don't deliver. Eric, step up here. Oh, yeah, come here. And be still. Stand right there and don't move. He was disorderly the entire way down to the jail. It was a hard time. We had to stop a couple times to make sure he was still secured. I didn't take Eric, nothing. Eric, stay facing the wall. We got money to take something. So be good. Turn around and face the Eric, turn around and face the wall oh. and chill. Right. Calm yes, way down. Yes, ma'am. Don't shake them things. Hey, I'm clean. OK. He told the he nurse he was suicidal. Eric, did you tell her you was feeling suicidal? Yeah, now I'm feeling suicidal. Were you playing games? Yeah. Not really. I didn't feel suicidal until I felt like I had a felony. So now I really do Oh, feel because suicidal. of your charge? Yeah. Come on. No, nah, but I don't but You already told me you're suicidal. I can't lose my county job because you don't want to be suicidal all of a sudden? Okay, but what if I feel less suicidal than There ain't no less. You told two people. You told the girl at pretrial, and you told me. He needs to be dressed out in yellow. Stop. What size do you wear? Small, small? I really ain't suicidal. I'm no, mad no, no. You what aicidal? Mad aicidal. You mean homicidal? No, mad aicidal. 
That's a new one. <laughs> Come on, my man, right back here. Now he's going to be placed on suicide watch because after speaking to pretrial and finding out that he has a felony, now he feels suicidal or madicidal, as he says, which I don't understand what that means. So now he'll go to court in a yellow uniform on suicide watch. I don't believe that he's suicidal. Just wants to be in a cell with a blanket tonight. Let's go. I'm pregnant. I think I should be going to jail with a no sweatshirt. You do understand why I arrested you. Oh, no problem. It's not your fault. Okay. But I'm just saying, they got their property back. You know, it was mine. If I took it, I'll say I took it. And in any of my conditions that I've ever done, I've done, I just got out doing seven years. Right, but it has nothing to do with you being pregnant. Oh, no, but, but you arrested me, though. How do you know that lady ain't lying? Or how do you know I ain't lying? You know, I'm a Christian. I'm not going to go in there and steal no sweatshirt and jeopardize me to come to jail to eat bologna sandwiches and juices when I'm out in the street. Ma'am, have a seat. You belong to this officer. Why are you back here fussing and complaining? No, I wasn't complaining, ma'am. You weren't? No, ma'am. OK. Charge, I swear to God, I'm not in the wrong. I get ready to get back on the bus to go back home. Here comes these officers. You didn't have a receipt? The lady had it. Then why would she call the police and say you stole it? Because I, I don't know she went and, no, I didn't have the receipt to do the exchange. No, my friend has the receipt. Mm -hmm. If you felt like I stole something, you should have been calling the police then, not wait till I get to a bus stop. Well, you know, it takes the police a minute to get there. But not, not on that, no. Nah. It takes them for to get them child molesters a minute. Well, how have you jumped to child molesters? I'm saying but for a petty theft, come on now. Come on, Sarge. Everybody ain't bad people. Okay, go ahead and listen to what he's telling you to do. Sarge, everybody ain't bad people. I'm not saying everybody's a bad person. I should have the benefit of the doubt. Because people lie. I've lied. And I'm, a, I'm already almost due. And it hurts. All right, you understand that I'm doing whatever I can do to on our end yes, for the Sheriff's Department to make sure that everything is done correctly, right? Yes, ma'am. And you going to show up for court? Yes, ma'am. Okay. On your behalf. All right. And I'm going to give you the big picture of my baby when it's born so you can put it in your office. Okay. Because I'm going to say this is the one who let you go. Have it's the seat. officer. The one that you said needs to give you the benefit of the doubt. It's the, the it's officer. <laughs> All right. I'll be back to check on you in a minute, okay? She's eight months pregnant, so she was given a court date to come back. But Alicia feels, though, just because she's pregnant, she shouldn't have been brought to jail. The probability is that she won't show up for court. We'll probably catch her after she gives birth to her baby. The facility is built so that they can hold up to about 65 individuals. On Friday and Saturday nights, we get so busy that we will go overflow. They'll sit out here for the most part until they're either moved upstairs to a cell or they go see the judge, and after that, if it's a Class C, they'll be released. This guy is intoxicated and upset, so we'll see how he does. What's up, man? Where are we going, officer? Oh, you ready to move? Okay. Go ahead and put your shoes on, sir. And then, and then uh, we, need, we need to take it. sir. Well, he's been sure the whole time. You call me, sir. I'll call you, sir. No. I need you, I need you to have your shirt on. I need to put your shirt on, sir. Right. Put your shirt on. That's the guy. 515. What's his charge? Public intoxication. Is it? Yeah. Donald. I've been trying to get him to put his shirt Donald. on. Donald, put your back on this police square right here. Josh Casey. Put your shirt on. That's a bunch of. You think so? I know so. Okay, put your shirt on. Let's take a picture and get you out of here, man. Donald, look right up. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my shirt. I want a picture of this one myself, man. All right. He's gonna be doing your prints right now. Get on. 
He was already here when I got here, and the uh, relieving officer from the previous shift was informing me that he was in the back, and uh, he's been back there the whole time since I've been on, now going on about 40 minutes. I don't think he's ready for general population. Come on, let's go back over there. Go back to sleep. Hmm? Hmm. Don't get his hands off me. Well, walk. Not that way. As long as you walk, I'll keep my hands off, man. You know how we go, cooperation or persuasion? Oh. Yes, sir. You're going to treat me like that? No, 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 I'm just letting you know. As long as you cooperate, we're fine. You ain't nobody. I, that's right, I'm not. not. I got no power, except for the power that you give me. You ready for him? We're ready for you to have him. <laughs> Come on over here, mister. Let's get you out of our hair for a little bit. My magistration officer is now down from gathering the rest of the individuals upstairs. So now they're all together and he's fixing to seat him inside the courtroom for magistration. All right, good morning. My name is Yvonne Williams and I'm going to give you all your magistrate warnings. <clears throat> You're all here on what we call the uh, higher dockets. Those are the A, B misdemeanors. Uh, as well as uh, felonies, so you're going to need bail uh, in order to get out of jail. Bail bondsmen in this county want between 10 to 20 percent, I'm told, uh, and at any rate, uh, they need Max. at least uh, $300 uh, in order to uh, get yourself out of jail, no matter how low your bond is. Uh, so that in mind, if you charge with a felony, and you have not this is yourself ridiculous. Out, say, four or five, you'll figure out a guy that drinks. And they'll take I ain't beat nobody up. District court judge. Uh, I have two different answers. Come on. What? Now, Come with me. I can't see the judge. No, not, not now. You'll see him later. Oh, OK. Yes. What did I tell you earlier? You're too comfortable, man. You're too comfortable. All you had to do was sit you there. What? All you had to do was you sit there what? and listen. All you had to do that's right. I'm not listening to nobody. You could have told her you're not guilty. You sit there and listen. You could have told her. Guilty, you could have told her you're not guilty and yeah. make your you statement didn't some give other me that time. Chance, did you? You didn't give me that chance. You didn't give me that chance, did you? Come on, man. Come on. Watch it, man. Damn come, it. Come on. Come on. That's awesome. You're gonna settle. Go. You're gonna settle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. All you gotta do is keep on walking. Exactly. Keep on walking. Attitudes like his, personalities like his, where he just cannot maintain and control himself, that's going to delay him another couple hours at least. So he put that on himself right there. Now that we see the judge, okay? Uh, if you get more than three public intoxicating chargers in within the same year, then it gets elevated from just a ticket to a Class B misdemeanor. Then there's jail time assessed to that. All rise. Have a seat, sir. I'm going to try and give you your magic warnings. I need you to be quiet during this process, okay? If you insist upon interrupting, then you're going to be uh, taken back again. And it only just delays your getting out of jail. You're going to have a court date set in about three to four weeks. When you leave this room, eventually you're going to have access to a telephone call. Ma'am, let's just get over with. The free so call. So I'm going to go to court in three to four don't, weeks. Don't, don't I told you, don't interrupt. You interrupt one more time and you're out. I'm just going to just delay this. Maybe you can get the uh, 7 o'clock judge to do it. Are you going to need a court appointed lawyer? Ma'am, this is. I'm going to put you down for one right now. You can always uh, not accept that. Well, How much time do I get? That's not my uh, How much time do I get for it? Six months? I can't ask that question. It's not my I want to do six months. Let's just get it over with. OK, we're done? I'll get another one. All right. Good Thank luck you. to you. Yeah. So you're ready to clothe me and feed me, huh? I'm glad. Look at right front, right? Oh, 
drink a beer, huh? You're good to go, Doc. He's going to be with us for some months, maybe some days, out in Del Valley. But when his time is done, just a matter of days before he'll be back through our doors again. And the doors open up, and they leave me outside. And they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face, and it brings me to life. Oh, Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel, and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home. I've been thinking about my needs. I don't want to be alone. The doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get up out of here.